Hello everyone, welcome to 360 Tips channel, a channel, where you get to know some known and unknown information. There are many good Samaritans in this world, whom we have read about from the history, or, even see them now every single day. Today, we are going to talk about one such good soul, who risked his life and money to save over a thousand people. Some of us may know him, or read about him or if you have watched the movie Schindler's List, an outstanding movie released in the year, 1993, directed by none other than the legendary director, Steven Spielberg. So, whom are we talking about here? Yes, he is none other than a savior of over 1,200 Jews, Oscar Schindler. He was born on April 28, 1908 in Czech Republic. Czech Republic was occupied by Nazi Germany between 1938 to 1945, and was under Soviet domination from 1948 to 1989. On January 1, 1993, Czechoslovakia, separated peacefully into two new countries, the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Oscar, was a German, and was a hero for thousands of Jews and he was an industrialist. He was also a member of the Nazi party. When we hear the word, Nazi, Germany, we all have no second thoughts, but will only have one name in our mind, Adolf Hitler. Again, when I mention the name Hitler, you must be knowing that Hitler killed millions of Jews. So, Oskar Schindler was a member of Nazi party, and was a powerful personality in Nazi Germany, but, he saved 1,200 Jews from the Nazi officials. Why? And how did he do that? Let's go back, to knowing Hitler's plan, to understand about this. Adolf Hitler, strongly believed that the Jews, are the exact reason for German loss in World War I. Once Hitler, became the Chancellor of Germany, he created, a separate special force called SS, meaning, Protection Squadron, and assigned them a task, which is to execute all Jews from the concentration camp, and anyone they come across as Jews. Any Jew, who was healthy, and able to work, would be taken to a labor camp, and, those who were considered unhealthy, and unfit, to work would be sent to concentration or death camps, where they would be exterminated or worked to death. If you watch the movie Schindler List, you will understand, how the Jews were mercilessly massacred by Nazi officials in Hitler's concentration camp. The title of the movie is Schindler's List. Here the word list denotes that list of people, Oskar Schindler have saved, though he himself has said, that he never made any separate list to save people, but, to save as many as he can. At the beginning of the World War II, in 1939, Germany occupied Poland. Once done, several Jews from Poland were killed. Oskar Schindler, was one kind-hearted person. He went to Poland after Germany occupied Poland to set up his enamelware factory in Krakow, that employed combination of Jewish workers, interred by the Germans, and free Polish workers. His initial interest, of course, was to make money. But as time went on, he grew to care about his Jewish workers, particularly those with whom, he came into contact on a daily basis. In addition, Helping Jews became a way to fight against what he viewed as disastrous, and brutal policies, emanating from Adolf Hitler and the SS Protection Squadron. 1,200 Jewish slaves were saved who were his workers by paying huge money to Nazi officials. Throughout the World War, Oskar Schindler, never allowed Nazi officials, to take away his employees to concentration camp, he paid a huge price as debt and gift. Till 1945, Nazi officials, were involved in murdering of Jews in large numbers. But, none of Schindler's employee were killed, as per reports. Once Germany started to lose the war, Oskar Schindler, was about to get imprisoned by the USA, since he was also part of Nazi party, but his employees including Itaz Stern, provided a written statement that, Schindler has saved 1,200 Jews, and was never involved in any war crime. The then, U.S. government, let him free without any charges, considering, the help he has done for fellow human beings. Oscar, was one honest, 
and good soul who exercised in Nazi party. He was immensely pained that, he couldn't save a lot more Jews, as he had a lot of love, affection and care, but was still happy that his commitment to humanity, has been accomplished, at least to an extent. He is not only a good human being, but, was also a good Samaritan to thousands back then. There is no doubt that, Oskar Schindler was a savior of Jewish people. Jews, all over the world, love him for his good deed. If you go to Israel, you can see Schindler grave, and Jews from all over the world visit his resting place on his Memorial Day which is on October 9, 1974. He left this world, due to liver failure and cardiovascular disease. In 1962, he was declared, a righteous Gentile by Yad Vashem, Israel's official agency, for remembering the Holocaust. According to Oscar's wishes, he was buried in Israel at the Catholic Cemetery on Mount Zion. The only Nazi German, ever to be buried in Israel. That is the height of respect, he received from Jewish community. With a lot of good hearts bidding him adieu, his memories, still live alive, in the hearts and minds of Jews, and the families he saved. Hope I have shared an information that teaches us one lesson. No matter if you are on the wrong side or an evil side, you decide if you want to be good or not and engrave your name for good very strong. If you like this video please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get latest updates on our next video. Thank you all.